Hey YouTube, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to create or actually add uh, WooCommerce support to our um, team. So we've learned how to create a WordPress team in the previous videos. And if you haven't seen them, uh, please do watch them before because they're going to give you a solid background on how WordPress team development works. And in this video, or actually this series of video, we're going to add, mm, we're going to learn how to create a WordPress e-commerce site so you could basically start building uh, a real e-commerce um, shops and build and start selling uh, or just build them for your customers so without further ado let's get started okay so in order to add um, e-commerce support to our WordPress blog, we have to install WooCommerce. Um, so the WooCommerce is the most common e-commerce plugin for um, for WordPress. Obviously, there are more, but this is like probably the, the, the most common, uh, so we're going to use it. So navigate to wordpress.org, then for, uh, go for plugins and search for WooCommerce, and then hit the download button. Once you download, unzip the file, and once you do so, you have to uh, we, we're gonna install it and we're gonna be installing it by adding this zip uh, file or actually, or actually folder which was within the zip into our uh, WordPress instance so I'm navigating to my WordPress location so I'm going to htdocs uh, WordPress so this is the instance of our uh, WordPress and then WP content and then we have plugins so uh, I already did it before, so I have it here. So in your case, uh, if you download it, just unzip it. So you're going to get this folder um, inside your uh, downloads folder, uh, which is a default path where uh, all the downloads are going to in on my computer. And then we should have this uh, WooCommerce folder. So I already have two because I did it in the past. So just grab this one. You want this one, which has this files in it. Copy and then basically paste it uh, into your uh, WordPress WP content plugins. Just paste it here. And now log into your uh, WordPress uh, configuration panel admin panel and go to plugins and you're gonna see this WooCommerce over here so then hit activate button and when you do it for the very first time you should see some kind of wizard and I think this wizard um, I skipped it um, and you can sk skip it as well for the sake of this video so I just skip this one um, and I think this one is somewhere uh, here so if I go to home uh, it's telling me that I didn't actually finish this 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 wizard, right? I just added some products for the sake of this video, um, but basically it will guide you through some questions like your address, um, like a currency, and so on. So I just keep that. I keep the default. So I have like I think I have British pounds. So I don't know for why, but I have them. It doesn't really matter. We don't need it for now. Um, when you create a, a proper production version, obviously you should set it up. You should connect your payments so you can you know add some Stripe. Or PayPal so customers could actually pay you uh, set up taxation shipping uh, so you can have a connection to you know some couriers companies which will basically create um, automatically create the tracking numbers and so on and so on this is not the subject of tutorial in this tutorial we are going to learn how to build a team which supports WooCommerce so we have a WordPress uh, and WooCommerce uh, uh, configured I already add some product mm. So uh, you can add them manually, and or you can uh, or you can um, basically uh, load the default one, which comes with WooCommerce. So there are some dummy data you can use, or you can just create your own. I, I decided to create my own. Mm, as same uh, or pretty much similar, like with posts and pages, you have uh, categories, right? So it has categories. So I just added some new category called Knuckles. Uh, and I add some few necklaces here. Obviously, you can have um, multiple categories, different products, and so on. Now, so this is the basic setup we have now uh, WooCommerce installed and configured. So uh, now we will be building. In the previous videos, we've built a blog, 
uh, page. So we could technically reuse it, right? So um, if you uh, watch the previous one, you might remember some kind of layout setup for this one. Um, so we could just add shop on top of that. But I want to keep it separately. So I'm going to show you how to build it from scratch. So we're not going to reuse it. So that also allows you to jump in. If you haven't seen the previous one, then you can still continue because we're not going to re we won't be reusing what we've built before. So we're going to start from scratch. So uh, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go to um, MDB. Uh, oops, this is not the, go to this PC. C drive, XAMPP new and HT docs, um, WordPress, WP content teams. Uh, I'm going to copy this path, uh, path and I'm going to initialize quickly uh, a new project. So just to remind you, um, I'm, I'm using uh, MDB command line. So I'm going to do MDB WordPress in it. Uh, it's asking whether I'm in incorrect folder and then I'm going to use uh, MDB starter. So that's going to initialize empty free starter for me here. So this is this free starter. I'm going to open this up in a Visual Studio code and um, just to distinguish because I already have it, uh, have one here and they're pretty much the same. So this is the old one, the previous one. Mm, I will go to style CSS. I'm going to change the name to, from MDB sample theme to MDB uh, e-commerce um, team. So now if I go to uh, appearance teams, I should see this uh, e-commerce here, right? So I'm going to activate this one. So now we will be working on this new uh, on this new theme over here. So this is the one. So this is in uh, this is uh, WordPress plus plus uh, WooCommerce. And if we go and check our page. We should see WordPress. Oh, it should be plus. Doesn't really matter. I just wanted to show that it's working fine. So we have an empty starter. Mm, uh, if you don't know what MDB CLI is, please navigate to mdbootstrap.com slash CLI and you're going to find more information on that. So this is a tool from MDB, which basically, as you can see, allows you to, to create um, predefined um, templates and um, to use predefined templates and then publish them to web. I'm going to show you that in, in the other video as well. Um, so we have this basic starter here. I described and explained exactly how does it work. So we have this index header footer. Uh, so the basic files, then we have a functions speech piece, which is uh, including this asset speech piece which is loading as MDB into it, MDB starter into it. This is obviously the free version, uh, open source version, so you can use it totally for free. Mm. So what we're going to do now, um, I'm going to start with um, two steps. Uh, first, I'm going to add new styles. Uh, as you remember, we have the style CSS here, so we need to also attach it. Um, so I'm going to call it style CSS and I'm going to tell WordPress to to load it up. Uh, so if we want to add some uh, styles into it, then now this will be um, effectively uh, loaded onto our, our website. So it will be working fine. Mm, and this is one thing now in with an index PHP, I want to have um, some I want to have some uh, loop over here. So if you search for WordPress or actually post loop, you're going to find this uh, the loop. So this the very basic loop from WordPress here. So I'm going to copy paste this one. I'm going to paste it here and um, I'm going to just use uh, this one. And I'm going to say the content. So I want to I want to mm, display uh, content without any styles. So now it will probably show all my posts, right? So it's looping doesn't really matter because now we are focusing on the WooCommerce. Okay, so we have WooCommerce installed. Now, when you install WooCommerce, what you what what installer does, it's adding some uh, new pages. So if you go to WooCommerce and status, you should see something like this. And um, these these are all checks. Um, uh, but what is important for us is that here you have WooCommerce pages, right? So it has created these pages. So we have a shop base. This is the shop cart 
check out my account and you can have uh, terms and conditions so it, it, it doesn't do that um, uh, automatically so you have to do it by yourself but we don't need it we just need this uh, these pages and what we be, what we'll be doing and uh, this um, in this tutorial we will be working on our shop cart or shop page so the way we want to display our products um, or all list our products and the product page itself so the way we are displaying the single product so if we go here to the shop page it will open up this uh, page which was created and then let's go uh, and uh, visit this one so preview preview so that's how um, basic uh, shop card uh, looks like and when we open some uh, product it also looks like this so this is like um, the, the very plain WooCommerce setup now we're gonna learn how this view is actually generated and how we can adjust it but before we do so um, in order to um, adjust the templates because that's how WooCommerce is calling them so it's, it's templates um, our theme uh, has to turn on the WooCommerce compatibility. So um, uh, we're going to do that by adding this piece of uh, code to our functions PHP. So basically add WooCommerce support. Mm, so we are adding this add team support WooCommerce and then we are doing this after setup team action. We've done it before with the uh, feature images and now we are doing the same for uh, WooCommerce. Okay, so now let's um, let's let's quickly go and see and try to analyze where does this uh, this this setup comes from? Because if we check our files, there is nothing here, right? But something is actually generating this uh, this look for a shop and for the product itself. Mm, so where does it come from? It's coming from our uh, plugin. So if we go to WP Content Plugins and WooCommerce, you're gonna find this templates file. So it's, here is a bunch of files uh, which WooCommerce is using and we can override them. Let me open this one. Uh, oops, not in this one. Let me open this in uh, in, uh, in Visual Studio Code so you could see this one. Um, and let's quickly uh, have a look at what's going, what's going on here. So let's check um, this um, single product, right? So we have the single product uh, file over here and it's it looks a little bit weird at the very first glance. So um, so we have this like, you know, um, this, this, this hooks over here, right? So we have this uh, WooCommerce before main content hook and then we have information which, um, which hooks are connected to this one right and this is the priority for each action so we have um, output content wrapper and then we have a bre uh, breadcrumbs with 20 so this is more important than this one so this will be more on the top um, than this one maybe um, I can share with this it, it will be visible better, uh, better on this content single product by the way look at this so we have a single product here and then we are calling here uh, in before main content and after main content so in between we are calling this get template part so we are looking for content single product so we have this file content sin single product and here we have nice um, example so we have this summary entry so this we are talking about the single product page now and we have this hooks for title rating price excerpt add to cart meta and they have uh, as you can see ascending um, priority so if we check our product card now we're gonna see that we have this title rating it's not available because we didn't add any rates to the product yet so it's hidden then we have a price then we have excerpt then we have a add to cart and so on so you can you can kind of feel how does it work and now um, each of this hook is obviously um it's obviously connected with a certain file so i made a small list here so you can see uh, that this hook for example you're gonna find in this file this hook 
you're gonna find in this file and so on so you need to be quite familiar where to look for uh, each one so let's have a look at the title right so i'm gonna remove this one because it's not a valid uh, php code so this one should be in a single product and here we have a uh, title so here we have this the title h1 class product and so on so if we use it and change it to let's say h6 and save it so this should be, get updated to h6 and it actually did so that's how you can manipulate with uh, the way the um woocommerce is doing this but please do not that don't do it you should never update this 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 um, template files inside your plugin why because um this is a plugin uh, folder and woocommerce every time you update woocommerce to the newest version and guys are updating like you know every two weeks or every three weeks all these plugins will be flesh out and replaced with the newest version so whatever you change it will be gone so we never ever change it i'm going to show you how you can make it change persistent but i just would like to continue on this one to give you this um kind of understanding how to work with uh, with this uh, hooks so um on the woocommerce.com uh, docswoocommerce.com you're gonna find uh, this this information and that you can basically hook up to each and every hook and you can you can adjust it so for example if you have this uh team wrapper start you can for example add something right so you could add this one like like that right so so this basically uh, like we have it uh somewhere here let's get back to content single um so um we have this hook for example and you can connect to this to that hook and add some content like th the guys are doing here section id main a uh, whole section so as, as you can imagine, this is a really complex set of hooks where when you go through this file, PHP is going from top to the bottom, it's going uh, here and then it's jumping to this hook in the next file, it's executing all the hooks, then it's going to this one, it's executing all the hooks, then it's going to that hook, then it's going to that hook, and this, 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 so it's like a real huge waterfall when, when, where all these hooks are basically mm, executed one by one mm, so this is one of the options that's how we're gonna um, actually adjust this product page now mm, i'm gonna show you how to do it it's a bit complex but uh, yeah well this they, 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 the woocommerce team claims that this is the best way this robust and you know flexible way to kind of uh, remain mm, compatible with uh, with all the updates and so on uh, i think you can get used to it right it's it sounds it is complex at the very beginning but you can get used to it so uh, let's have a look at the example right because you can you can play with it right uh, if you let's say we want to get rid of this title we don't want title here for some reason uh, obviously this is just a comment so you, you, if you remove it that's not gonna do anything um, if you want to work on it you should um, actually work with your function php file so uh, let's let's go here um, and let's say we want to uh, remove um, some product some uh, summary or maybe we want to remove um yeah a lot we can remove here let me see mm, yeah, let's get rid of this product summary so you have this this option like remove action and you have woocommerce before single product summary woocommerce show product sale flash um so this is removing the sale from uh, sale sale price from uh, um, from from um, uh, our single product summary right so if we had it here I'm, I'm now jumping between so this is the product summary and then you have the sale sale flash here so uh, I want to get rid of it because I didn't want to show the sale uh, sh sale um, price i didn't set up the sale price but in case i i would that would remove me so let me um let me give you uh, some examples here 
So I this is the list I've prepared and you can find this uh, the source code. You can obviously stop video and retype it or you can just work with my files uh, and get this one uh, with you. So um, looks what's going on here. What you can do, um, you can uh, like, I, like I'm doing here. So look, um, I, you can either remove something from your team or like I'm doing here, you can change the priority. So you are removing the orig original one with priority 40, and then I'm adding the same one, right, to uh, with a higher priority. So basically, this will move it up. So let's save it and let's um, open this one up. And now, as you can see, we changed here. So uh, it, it has changed. So just to show you before and after, and uh, let me open this side by side. So, um, oh, by the way, we didn't change this one. I need to revert this change back. So uh, I added these categories, right? So I put this category, it was here, and then I put it this uh, above, right? Uh, and I also played uh, with the description. So the description originally, this is the original version of, uh, on the left side you have the, the original one before making changes. So here are these tabs. Uh, you can play with them if you like, you can keep them. Um, so these are the tabs and you can, um, and we have description here. So I, what I wanted to do, I wanted to move this, this description from this part, so tabs into the product summary. That's what I did here, right? So uh, if we go back here and uh, get these changes back. So I, I played with this a little bit here and here I also, uh, I, I, as you can see, I removed this product summary from tabs and I added this product summary to a template uh, product description. So I moved this basically from one hook to the other and now when you refresh this description is here and it's not within a tabs anymore. Um, yeah, so this is one thing. So you can basically overwrite this, this kind of hooks and now if you want more changes uh, and you would like to change the template itself, um, what we have to do, so these are the templates in the plugin. And by the way, let me revert this change, which we did here. Uh, it was in the title. So let's revert it to H1, uh, right? So this should be bigger now. Yeah, it is. So I'm not touching this template files. I'm going to close this up. Mm, but what's going on now here is that if you want to, let's say, overwrite this one, you should copy this into your team. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to open a new folder, a new window here, and let's go to this PC, um, uh, exempt new. Oh, I should make some shortcut as I'm opening this very often now. WP content teams and I have my WP and now what you do you create a folder um, you, you create a folder called uh, WooCommerce and um, we you, you paste basically here whatever template you want right so if you want to if you want to uh, update this single product for example um or this content single product you copy this and you paste it here what is important you need to keep exactly the same uh, structure so if you want to change something like uh, i know let's uh, say i'm looking something more complex mm like single product add to cart simple for example and actually probably we're gonna uh, we will need that um so you need to recreate the, exactly the same path so we need this new folder single product then inside it you want to have new folder add to cart and then inside this, you will put the simple one here, right? So it's important that this path from WooCommerce 
onwards, like here from templates onwards is exactly the same. Now, you could ask, why won't we just, you know, copy all of it and paste it here because it would work. Obviously, it would work. Um, the problem here is that if you don't want to, um, if you don't want to update, let's say this uh, file, yeah, you don't need it. You don't want to change it. It's fine. It's working fine for you. And you copy it here, then this will have priority. So it will always use this one within your theme. Um, so now imagine that WooCommerce is finding some error, some some bug, some mistake in this folder. It will update it. So your WooCommerce will update this file, but basically it's going to be ignored because you have the older version here. And that's why also every time WooCommerce is updating these themes, these templates, uh, you can see that each, oh, let me show you this one, um, WooCommerce. So uh, each file has its version here, 340. So uh, if the WooCommerce, you know, create the newer version 341, it will inform you in the admin panel that um, it's going to inform you in the admin panel that it uh, has been updated. Um, it, it has been updated. Uh, so your uh, your ver the version which you copied, it's older than the new one. So please do check and compare whether there is something important for uh, for you because um, because this will um, because this uh, might be important, right? This might be uh, this might be um, important. Okay, now let's start working with this. So um, what I'm gonna do? We'll be working with single product content, single product product. But first, uh, let's start with um, product and image so we have a single product and we should have image somewhere here product image so i want to have single product and single and product image and the reason i'm doing this is because i want this picture here to have class image fluid because we are using bootstrap so we want to make this we want to make this um you want to make this uh mm, 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 responsible obviously uh okay where is it simple product image okay so i open i'm opening this uh, file so here you have some uh, some code which is generating basically this image again it's complex so it's like you know a little bit of uh, reverse engineering doing here but you can spot it over here right uh, now it runs in interesting part is that even though i'm gonna do add this uh, class here image fluid and refresh it. Apparently, this class, see, class WP post image. So, for some reason, it wasn't added. And this is because uh, WooCommerce is generating this on the fly. So, we won't be able to do it that way. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a string replace option. So, um, string replace will basically, uh, so this is the final one it's generated by WooCommerce, it's doing this all the magic and then in the final string we are searching for this WP post image and we're going to replace it with this one with our uh, image fluid and now if I refresh sorry I put it uh, in the condition all right and now we have this image fluid here right I put it here inside this else condition but actually this one this one was uh, generating this code, HTML code. So that's why it was even impossible to add this class here. So we added this by adding, doing this trick with the uh, string uh, replace uh, data. So and now let's uh, let's move to the add to cart simple. Um, so uh, what we want to do, um, we want to change a little bit uh, this this setup here right so we have this uh, input and we have add to cart so we would like to use this one uh, to be uh, a little bit more um, like a bootstrap or material design style uh, so what I'm gonna do I will go to this uh, add to cart simple and here we have this button 
So I'm going to add a few classes here, btn. Oops, it doesn't work. I didn't make some typo. No. Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, obviously it's not card, it's card. So this is, this is important, right? It's something which I was telling you before. Um, so we have to keep in mind that this has to be um, exactly the same as it was uh, under the plugin. So probably I made a typo here. Uh, let's check WooCommerce, single product, add to cart, simple, okay. And now, yeah, finger crossed, it's working fine. Okay, so uh, let's add two more. So I want this, actually, you know what? Mm, before we move on with this uh, with uh, this product page, uh, let's add some uh, some 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 header and some footer to it, right? So make it like nice shop before we we continue. Um, so what I'm gonna do, uh, I will do exactly the same as we did in the uh, previous tutorials. So um, let's use some predefined templates. So if you go to mdbootstrap.com/freebies and yeah, just pick whatever you like, right? So um, I think I will like to have this uh, on the top, this bluish uh, thing, and some footer, right? So I will just go here. I will go for live demo, and what I'm gonna do, I will get this um, this header from here so i got this header and i'm gonna put it to my header php so under the body this will be my header and let's do some my um, my shop let's say crafted with love and some empty links for now And let's say we have these two buttons stating that this is uh, sales and new arrivals. Let's, let's say, and for the footer, let's check what kind of footer we have here. Yeah, well, let's just do any footer. Um, so footer, footer, Mm, yeah, let's do it here and let's get rid of this extra stuff over here. So now it will add this one here and here. So for the knuckle, it should also work nice. Okay, so now I will, yeah, now this give us some, you know, context here. Mm, so um, let's move this all to the center. So this and that to the center. So let's for the header, let's use mm, container not fluid. And now we are going back to index PHP, right? So this is place where we, uh, we've been using. Uh, we've been using so far. You know from the previous tutorials that index is like a, a the last resort. So if everything else fails, then you are falling back to into index PHP. But actually, when it comes to WooCommerce, it has its own um, it has its own um, file, and this file is called WooCommerce.php. So if we create WooCommerce PHP. Uh, and we uh, then then basically let's save it and now probably it will broke our yeah it's gonna break our um, our uh, page because it's it's using this template it's empty obviously so now let's uh, let's get header let's get footer here um, and so this will give us now footers and headers Okay, and now instead of using what we've done here, so this 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 kind of loop here, what we're gonna do, we will uh, use something called WooCommerce content. So let me do it like this because in the next tutorial we're gonna fill it up with some HTML. Mm, so uh, I'm gonna use WooCommerce content function. 
and this will give me pretty much the same result as we had before but now we have separate logic right so we can have our index for our blog or page or whatsoever and we have woocommerce just for woocommerce so we can have different styles for our main blog and for for our e-commerce part so let's do here um container and let's wrap it up with uh, this woocommerce content so this should like nicely put it in the middle yeah great okay so this is um this is uh it now what we have here um okay we have this uh, picture and then we have everything down below so i would like to have this side by side so i would like to have picture and then all the information over here uh what we also would like to do is we will um we will also get uh, this related products next to uh, each other so let's do with now just one more information uh, for the functions is that basically um, yeah we got we got uh, rid of uh, we, we got rid of the tabs here usually you would have tabs uh, but uh, just for just just that you wouldn't be surprised that you might have seen you might see the tabs um, in your example when you are playing with the WooCommerce um, from scratch. Okay, now um, what else we we have to uh, do? Okay, now this two 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 uh, columns side uh, by side. So let's move to let's move to uh, let's find it where is it uh, stored i think it can be content single product mm, so this is single title and so on and this is image right so probably we will have to uh, do it like um, like this mm, we will have this id product here so here we're gonna add some container and this container will wrap uh, this two one and two it's product data tabs okay so this is what we want to have or actually we can have everything in the container i guess but we would like to have now a row and we would like to have call md6 times 2 and we will just put this one inside this and this one inside that and let's see if we didn't screw anything nope it's working fine um yeah let's add some margin here so container margin top three okay that's uh, that's nice um let's get this one side by side so this will be here in the simple mm, simple uh, add to card and this should be card and we're gonna use flex d flex and we will do justify a content left let's so this will give us nice by side side um okay so this is like a page and this is uh, working fine so um, we'll be uh we'll, we'll uh, also work on this related products um, but i hope you're getting this um you know this way of working because this is the most important is tutorial for you to understand right that you can that you um have to work with the templates that you can work with hooks to unhook something um, uh, obviously and like here for example we have the thumbnails here right so assuming that we don't want to have um, we don't want to have thumbnails uh, currently none of my product has thumbnails here but you can imagine let me go and change some products here you could have a gallery um 
So you could add some images here to the gallery. Let me do this. Add product gallery. I don't know. Let's say this, this and that. Add to gallery and then update. Oh, which one was it? This one. I need to find uh, this product. A view product. So this is the one. So then you have this gallery here, right? And then you can either work on it and you can decide how to display it by finding a corresponding, you know, WooCommerce, WooCommerce product thumbnail. So this is somewhere in the files. So you need to find a template and then override it. You can either unhook it or you can probably, the worst option is just to, um, just to uh, comment it out here, right? Obviously this is, this is not the best way, but this also works for you. Um, okay. Now let's uh, let's try to work on um, on the related products. So uh, that also show will show us that um, uh, sometimes um, it's enough just to play what what you've got um, and just apply the CSS to it. Because if you check this HTML here, you see that uh, WordPress is like really amazing stuff, really amazing tool. Uh, but it's quite complex in the sense that it's, it's you know, it's look, look at these classes, right? It's adding some classes which looks to us like a random ones. Um, and it's difficult to work with those classes. And sometimes, you know, you add some class, but the WordPress is adding its own classes. And then, you you know, it, it's really difficult. You don't have full control, like really full control, because, you know, users will be adding some products, categories, and so on and so on. And you, you, you kind of, you don't know this in advance. So sometimes maybe the best way will be just just to stick what what WordPress is giving to you, and then just work with the CSS. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna see that on this example. So we have these related products. Mm, so let's try to mm, let's try to work on that. So we'll get back to uh, our plugins, and then we should have related. So this is responsible for the related products. Obviously, I'm copying this one into our WooCommerce and this is uh, hold on this is in the single product so here i'm putting this into related okay and now let me uh, let me edit this one so what we have here okay so for each related product so we, here we have a loop um so this is start loop but this is loop end so what i would like to do i would like to have um, some id here so let's have um something like uh, or actually no let's try to be as specific as possible so we're gonna have related products uh, and then we're gonna add some classes to it so i'm gonna do deflex and then justify content center okay Hold on, WooCommerce justified this is content center. And oh, obviously this doesn't wrap anything. So now uh, I, put, I will put it like here. Okay, so now we, we justified it to the center. And now within our CSS, uh, let's do something like this. A related products. Mm. Ally display inline block and it doesn't work because uh, did I mess up? Oh, obviously, I need also an order list probably. Yeah, so we having this one here. So let's add some margins. Margin, 20 pixel. Okay, and yeah, and this look, uh, this that looks bad. So uh, let's uh, let's let's do something uh, about this one. So we will have this related products. Uh, we'll have this one and then we have a link and let's have some color 
uh, something, I think it is 4f, 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 hex. Come on. Just one. And probably also for visited because I've already seen yeah so now it looks uh, better um, okay so uh, that's mostly it for um, for a product page mm, obviously we could be um, yeah let me actually let me show you one more uh, let me show you one more stuff so um, how you can extend and create your own um templates so if you check this um related php it's using this wc get template part content product right so we have this uh content product um and this template uh, is here hold on content product content product here right so it's it's over here uh but this content product is obviously used in a different um in places right so um you know it's it's used on um if we if we open this one uh, here let's open it again and then we have single product so the single product is using where is it um I'm searching for uh, related. Where is it related? 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 So this one is actually. Uh, let's check this one. Content single product. Content product. So this is cross sales PHP. Then we have related. And then we have upsells, right? So it's it's being used in a, in a few places. Um, so uh, it may happen um, that you don't want to you know overwrite this one because otherwise you will be over overwriting this uh, through three different in three different places, right? Whatever you change for this content product, and you want this. Um, because this is this is re responsible for this part, right? How this is being displayed uh, to you. So um, yeah, if you change it uh, in this content product, then it will affect also some other places on your page. So what you can do, um, you can actually create your own. Um, you can create your own uh, uh, template, and you can do it by basically just saying uh, like product related and rename this file here which we copied so we have content uh, did i copy it this is content product so i'm gonna rename this one uh, now, now just to show you if i refresh now it will be gone because it cannot find the template right there is no template associated to this there is a content product but there is no content um, product related so now if i do product related i created my own a copy of it so so and obviously i put it in the wrong location it should be inside uh, woocommerce not single product right so now i have this content product related so this is a copy of uh, of my uh, of mine own um, product and I can do some modification to it if I only want. So, you know, I could, for example, just get rid of this, um, this uh, price. So what I did here, I just basically commented this out, right? So I commented out uh, this, so the price and add to cart. And this will just affect only these related uh, products over here. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's it uh, for now. This is that's it for the for this uh, teaming and using um, templates. 
Well, I know it might be a little bit complex, but obviously there is no other way than just, you know, start playing with it. So I strongly encourage you just to start playing with it. Just create, use the um, empty template and just uh, start uh, messing up with, uh, just start with the very empty new theme. And once you once you um, uh, install WooCommerce, you're gonna see all this ugly stuff. Just try playing with different hooks. Just try styling it, um, and you will just get more and more familiar with it. You're gonna find all the correlation. You will see that you know if you change something in this team, it's also affecting this and this side because obviously they are reusable. That's why they are uh, created that way. Um, but in the next tutorial where we will be working on our shop page. So uh, WordPress shop. Mm, obviously we could do uh, this exactly the same way, right? So we could be working with um, just this uh, templates and then just, just try to do some um, modification by adding CSS, hooking, unhooking, changing order and so on. But we're gonna do totally different approach. I'm gonna show you how to create a custom uh, WordPress um, query. So we will be querying using WP query. So the one, the same, the same one which we used for um, for posts in the previous tutorial. And we will be just querying for the products. So this gives us this nice, um, you know, this gives us this pretty nice, um, you know, uh, freedom, I would say, because here we are starting with existing theme and existing, uh, you know, um, I would say starter. And we have to play with it and it's not always easy to adjust and move something around and here we're gonna just do totally opposite it's a little bit more complex but here we are starting from scratch so you can design you know any kind of design you would like to uh, as you can imagine just you know changing and arranging this to look like you know amazon or any other e-commerce site might be a little bit tricky and challenging uh, so with the second uh, option with the second way of doing this which i'm gonna show you can have like different loops in different place and you can be like you know looping the categories x here and categories y here and so on but it's you're gonna see all of that in the next tutorial which i strongly encourage you to watch so thank you very much for watching if something wasn't clear if something doesn't work let me know down below in the comments or join our facebook group mm, uh, you obviously uh, can access the source files in um in, in 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 description down below so you will have access to it if something doesn't work for you just just try to compare your and my files and it should be fine um don't forget to subscribe don't forget to uh, hit this um like button that's gonna help us a lot and uh, yeah thank you for watching see you in the next video and keep coding